Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the weekly collective tarot reading? What is the intuitive message for you, Sagittarius, okay? I'm not reading reversals. Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support, okay? Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, all right? And if you would like to further support my channel and um, myself, my team, I have another, you know, if you would like to pick up more intuitive message, I also invite you to follow my other channel that is Sunshine TV, okay? You have a very interesting vibe today, Sagittarius. So funny, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message for you, collective reading for the Sagittarius sign? Let me just shuffle the cards again. Let me just bring up the intuitive energy in here. What can I get for Sag? Okay, let me just shuffle this and let's start the reading. Okay, let's start the reading. Let's start the reading, guys. So, you have, I'm not reading reversals today for you. So, your weekly reading starts with the full card. Okay, I don't think this is you. This is the person that you're dealing with. This is the person or the situation that you're dealing with, okay? This foolish person, this fool, um, it's traveling. It's it's looking into seeing you. And it's carrying a white rose. Of course, you know, white rose means it's, it's wanting a renewal. It's wanting peace. It is really looking into traveling and seeing you face to face, okay? And um, this fool card as well... They don't actually look at the past action. They're very um, futuristic. You know, they bring with you an energy of innocent or innocence. Or as if they didn't do anything to you. Like they've forgotten about what they did. Okay. This person is not acting foolish. They're simply, I'd say forgetting what they did to you and um yeah four of wands they if you look at the you know if, if you look at this person there's a path that they need to be like there's a travel involved in here but they're finding the path towards the castle and in the castle the princess is there and that's you or the prince so whoever is coming towards you they're a little bit lost, okay? I feel like this is a love breathing, but um, they've done pretty stupid things towards your connected situation or towards you directly. It could be, you know, a family member or a lover, okay? There's a romantic connection in here, and there is also a person that you've lived together because i'm seeing the house so it could be a brother sister mother father someone or maybe you know housemate but it's someone who you lived or it's something that you have um it's 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 a place where you you, you probably like you've been in this person four corners of a house or something to do you've been you, you've known them like face to face I'm really getting family. I'm also getting lover in here. It could be both. You know, maybe an ex-husband, ex-wife that become your family. Um, so this person or this situation, they're on their way to you, Sagittarius. The thing with this person is like they're so innocent, you know. Like they, and I'm seeing 444. They return to you. And they forget about the past. And you, Sagittarius, you have moved on from the past. But you 
have never forgotten what they did. Because it's a vibe where they will never feel what they like. It, it's, it's a vibe, Sagittarius, where they were not friendly with you in the past. Let's put it this way. I'm trying to, they were like a cookie monster to you. You know, they bring you the devil. You know, they bring you a not so good vibe. Okay, they, they, they did, this person disappointed you. They did some wrong to you. Now, it was their fault. Okay, they will never know how you really feel because they were not the victim. In, in this reading, you are the one who, I don't know, suffered in this reading. It, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to make the vibe lighthearted. So I'm sure you're getting what I mean. So, so yeah, so you're kind of like the Empress card because you're good, Empress card. If you look at the Empress card, she exudes beauty. But if you look at her throat, she looks like she is immobilized or she's quite shocked that, oh, okay, you're back and you're inviting me out and you're wanting to see me and you're wanting to connect with me, okay? The reason why I am being reminded of what they did to you, I don't think it's bitterness, but this person, if you look at the full card, it's bypassing the devil card to meet with a beauty you know like this is beauty this is you beauty and the beast okay this is the person the person they're forgetting that once upon a time they were the beast so they're bypassing all of the past to be with you and it's so easy for them to just connect instantly because they never experience the pain that they made you feel because in this reading it was totally their fault okay they're at fault and you're quite sad i mean you're pleased that they're now here and it's look it looks like that they're wanting to reconnect and show to you how they still want to work with you, be back with you, but you don't feel any form of apology. Like this person has an amnesia, you know? It could be an ex or a person who has disappointed you heavily. And now you're looking like an empress, pretty, move on. You have a good life. You're very balanced. Look at that water at the back. So you're emotionally balanced. You're emotionally intuitive. You're quite sad that they could just get back into your life and say hi and hello. And they're forgetting what they did. I don't think you're bitter. But it's just, you just feel like this is disrespectful. You know, there is that feeling that as much as you would like to connect with them, there's some sort of acknowledgement here that they should at least say sorry or they shouldn't act like you're so close. You know, the full card, it's a vibe, Sagittarius, where, for example, this friend of yours, she, for example, for example, Sag, this friend of yours, she has caused you some sort of betrayal. For example, your friend um, talked behind your back and then you saw you you know you, you met up you accidentally met them and they're like hi Sagittarius how's things with you blah 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 and you're like how can you just talk like as if nothing happens you know it's it's that vibe from this person it's they're the full card they're so chirpy and happy connecting with you and you look at them with sadness oh, look at the Empress card like you look at them with sadness and like man oh boy oh boy something like that how can you forget what you did how can you be so jolly and so friendly you know something to do with hey you need to say sorry at least to me you know don't act like your sunshine and butterfly where in fact you almost 
ruined my life. You break my heart, you know, for some of you. And um, and so this all begins, you know. I think you, Empress card, you look at them and you're like, what? You know, like you're kind of disappointed because you want this person to be a king of cups. <sighs> Actually, this person, they will never really... But you know, when they look at you, you look so complete and they thought you have forgotten things, but it seems to be you, there's still a pinch in your heart, Sagittarius. It's kind of sad. It is sad. It is sad. You know, there's a King of Cups in here and I'm trying to figure out whether this full card is the same person as the King of Cups. I don't think so. So... I mean, in the next two weeks, you might process this foolish person, okay? And then for some reason, probably around the month, around the new moon, you've got a king of cups and a knight of cups. So I feel like this full card who walk away from you, they will feel how cold you are. They will upgrade to a knight of cups. But this king of cups, it's different. So for some of you guys, you have a new person coming in the picture. If it's not a new person, it could be someone you also know. So I'm picking up probably mid of this month going up until first week of next month. You will have two opportunities. It could be a lover. It could be, I feel like it's more of a friend or a lover thing because these are cups. It means that it's something personal. It's something that it's emotional. And I feel like you in this reading, you're very, very cautious. Okay? Because they probably have a history. The King of Cups also, it feels a bit brand new-ish. You're not, you're, you're close to the full card versus the King of Cups in here. But this is not this one. The full card is the, the Knight of Cups. Okay? Because um, the full card will feel you being cold, aloof, probably ignoring them, not believing them. They will offer you the Knight of Cups. So this full card, they will pick up that you don't trust them. Um, they will pick up that you are guarded. They will pick up that you're frosty or cold. And they don't want you to feel that way. You know, and this full card... This is them. This is their vibe. Eight of Cups. They will drop. Because I feel like this full card, yep, they forgot that they made a mistake to you. But I think what they're trying to do, Ace of Wands, is to, like, jumpstart the connection. So, in the beginning, this full card is, like their name, acting foolish to jumpstart the connection. Ace of Wands, to impress you. But you're not impressed. Although you're empress, but you're not impressed. So, in the beginning, this full card is going to act foolish. And you won't buy that. You will be cold and spiky. I mean, right now, when you think of this person, you're just eek. You know, like, irk, eek. You know that feeling? And they will get that because they're intuitive. They will change the game. From the full card, they will become a knight of cups. It will take a while for this person to pick up your energy, but they will. So they will change the game. They will drop being so show off or um, a bit aggressive with their approach to you or yeah, show off. Yeah, they will drop that and they will show sincerity to you. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, because their hidden agenda is to impress you to get things to jumpstart the things with you because it's been so long. So they really want to impress you, jumpstart things, but you're not impressed. You don't like it being like they're quite flamboyant or attention seeker the way they come back into your life. You know, someone is going to return in your life and it's just their return is off. Yeah, the way they return, it's kind of off. Now, as this person proves to you 
that they can be a knight of cups and they actually you sagittarius this person would like you to, to take them seriously page of cups you know the page of cups looking the ace of wands but the thing is the thing is you know there's a kicker you know like this king of cups this is not this person so as you probably entertain or accept their apology and the emotions you have with this person, it will grow. But before it grow, before it blooms, before you trust them, there is someone in the picture, a king of cups. Yeah. In the next three to four, eight weeks, Sagittarius, you will have a back-to-back -back offer. I mean, the Knight of Cups came first. But whoever will be in the picture while you connect with this person is a king of cups. Because this knight of cups, this is this person. You're going to start all over again because they've been a devil. You know, like you're the beauty and they were the beast. Now this beast is transforming into a knight of cups. So it, it will take a while. Now as this beast transform into a knight of cups, you know, you will also come across a king of cups ready this is already ready you know this is i mean this is plug and play this beast is still turning into a knight of cups okay so in the next three four eight weeks you will have this circle of lovers coming your way or opportunity circling around you lovers opportunity circling around you and your last card is the four of swords which means like i cannot decide and if you look at the four of swords this is you like resting sleeping beauty beauty and the beast sleeping beauty you're like wow i've got two nights i've got two opportunities in here and this four of swords can you see the other sword no Sorry, the four of swords, this sword, because this is three of swords, right? Look at that. Three of swords, you know what's a three of swords, right? This is, you know, third party and stuff like that. And the hidden sword is next to your heart. So I feel like Sagittarius, you're going to have a fiesta. So this is siesta, sleeping, but you will feast with attention with these two lovers. Yeah. And then you will use that one reserved sword, that's the Ace of Swords, to choose, you know. So good luck to you, Sagittarius, because where is Mars? Where is Jupiter? I think Jupiter is going to go to Mars. And I think that is a very exciting, um, when it's going to, I think it would move. And then Mercury, Aquarius, and then, oh, I know now. So Venus, Mars, Venus. And then you're going to have Mercury Aquarius. So this is going to be exciting. It's weird. But exciting times. You know, eclectic love. I've been, I've been hearing that towards your reading. Even with the other channel. So Sag, enjoy this circling beauty and the beast. The chase will start very soon. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have connected with me. Thank you for your support. I'm reading all of your comments. And it's so funny that, not funny, but like, you know, some, you know, if you want to be loved, you've got to really fix the internal wounds in you. Because if there's still a part of you that is bitter, that would always come up, comes up, sorry for my English, in the surface, you know. So you need to completely heal before you allow to love again, okay? And some of the comments are like boo-boo, like downer. But, you know, we can't please, please everyone. Anyhow, Sag, thank you again. And it's always a pleasure doing your reading. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.